I'm Kat Madarazo of Vento by Kat. Uh, I'm a mom of two, soon to be three, and I'm the wife of uh, a TV commercial director, Sid Madarazo. And I've been busy doing bento creations for my kids, and that's what they bring to school every day. So, and now I teach also. I share this craft through workshops, mostly weekends, and sometimes they want also one-on-one. -on -one, so we do it on a, a day on a day that they're that they're you know available and comfortable with. It started when my eldest moved to the big school. Her schedule was already whole day, so I wanted to make sure that she was getting enough. And that's how I found bento making after researching, and and uh, she likes all cute stuff. So my very first one, the very first trial that I used was the egg mold. So I put the egg there and then it was a cute shape, a cute, you know, a cute demarcation, uh, an indentation on the egg. And then she ate the egg, so. so that's how it started. And then the next day, okay, I think it works. So there, I started making cute food and it progressed. I started hoarding stuff and yeah. I guess it's all in the line of art. So, but with my as with my husband, because he's a he has a, a great eye for everything. So he also helps me come up with designs and helps me shoot the creations. He taught me how to you know work with available light and how to bounce the light and how to use the camera. So he has helped me immensely. I, he helped me a lot in terms of, you know, showcasing, showcasing every work that I make. So, yeah. In terms of, make, in relation to makeup artistry, I guess, I guess the attention to detail. Because when you're a makeup artist, you have to be really, you know, um, you have to have an eye for every single detail, like every strand of eyebrow or eyelash. So that's also... That's also, um, it also helped me here in when making bento maxes. Because when uh, the details are so small, so small, and so, like sometimes I would make, I would cut um, eyelashes for using seaweed just to, you know, add more details. So, yeah. They love it. They love everything cute. So, my son though, sometimes when it's too cute or when he loves it, he doesn't want to eat it. <laughs> he'd be, he'd be like, ah, I'll bring it back home. <laughs> he'd only eat the other sides. But my daughter, she's used to it. She's used to it. She loves it. They request designs sometimes because they also they're also artists. They love to draw a lot. They're after their dad. So Brazil mag drawing. So they, they sometimes design, and especially my daughter, she'd tell me, Mama, I want this. This is so-and-so character. And I'd, I'd make some bento boxes for her na based on her designs. Well, I just started sharing it online. Sharing it on Instagram and on Facebook until I had to change my fate, my Instagram into a public and change the name. Because parang um, wala lang. I just had to make another one that where I can post. But it's a nice feed, de ba? It's all bento related, so I had to make a separate one for my personal stuff. <laughs> and it, that's just how it started. I started sharing online, and then people have started to, you know appreciate my work and then that's how I also started doing workshops because they they're asking they would ask for it well people have been asking for videos so that's our next plan to come up with um, videos how to videos I 
I found out that in school, the teachers would even take photos of, the, of their boxes, of their baon. So sometimes they would, um, before, well, as soon as she opens the box, all her classmates are around her and my son too. And then they would take photos of their work, of my work, of the box. <laughs> yeah, so that's funny. And what else? When making, when creating, sometimes it doesn't turn out to be you what you have in mind because it depends on the ingredients. Sometimes it becomes so funny. Sometimes you just get by with whatever and then you change it. So, yeah, it's just challenging because you're working with food. One I found very interesting is this character that my daughter made up with it looked like a, it looked like a, an octopus character with a lot of legs that no it look, looked like an alien and then she had a name for it so she was even saying mama put ribbon here put this there put this there <laughs> yeah she she just came up with that character <laughs> she likes that